Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for July 7th, 2021. Well, yesterday, the bears reminded us that they still exist, that they're still around, and they might be getting a little bit hungry. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain any information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, yesterday those bears decided to come out and play and they gave us a pretty good attack but didn't really follow through, or at least at this point, have not shown a willingness to sustain that move. I do think they are getting a little bit hungrier, but we'll wanna watch that closely. First off, let's take note that we, oh, I got the wrong indicator here, just a second. Let me get rid of that, and I just clicked in the wrong spot. Let's take note that we rallied up into this area and we are still struggling with this price resistance level in the chart. Now we would like to ignore it. I know we would like to ignore it. I know we would like to say, hey, the bears don't have anything to say here. And that may be true, but we still have to respect this price resistance level in the Dow. And just note that we have tried several times breaking through this area and as of yet just can't quite get her done. Now we are trying to push this morning and the NASDAQ is doing its job by lifting itself to new record highs here at the open. Um, at one point in time yesterday, it was pretty much exclusively about a dozen big tech stocks that held the market up. Had they joined in on the selling, oh my goodness, it could have been uh, pretty ugly, but those bulls in the giant techs are extremely strong and um, they really did the job of holding the market yesterday or it could have been a lot worse. Let's take a look at our moving averages. If we take a look, we came pretty darn close for, uh, you know, in the Dow testing that 50 day moving average, but that bounce back yesterday was really pretty substantial. And so we held some price support right in here. Now let's keep in mind that if we were to get any follow through, if we follow through to the downside here today, that could kind of suggest that a test of 50 day moving average is likely in the Dow. But as we're seeing right now, the bulls are just right back in here, push, 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 buy, buy, buy. No price seems too high in these big techs. It's just a bum rush into them. But that makes me a little bit worried as we continue uh, that because that stretch can only go on for so long. Um, so watch that carefully. Now let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also had kind of a um, an ugly selling um, candle forming there yesterday. But again, big tech and it was almost exclusively big tech that held this index up. So interestingly enough, we have no bearish pattern here in the chart, really no major concern. However, you know, a hanging man pattern up here is a little bit of a bearish pattern, but nothing to particularly worry about because it's not gapped up to that high. So we just have this little resistance in the chart and um, we see a, a willingness of the bulls to push right on through, particularly in those big techs. So watch that closely, no harm, no foul here on the SPY. Still bullish trend, bulls are in control. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now QQQ, unbelievably, we had a hanging man top. We gapped up yesterday, ended up selling. Um, at one point in time, we had a bearish engulfing candle. Bulls came rushing back into those big techs, rallying back up, and now we're even gapping away to another record high here this morning. So look for a big pop-up this morning here. Um, we continue to stretch with gaps daily, um, which makes me worry that um, the last person in the door here is going to be the sad guy 
because um, I think this stretch is beginning to go in that parabolic mode and I don't know how much longer they can sustain that energy into that area. So be really careful chasing into that. Really, really careful. And if you've been experiencing what most folks have been experiencing in the charts, although we find a lot of good signals in trading charts, it's been very, very challenging trading to make any profit because we, we show a signal and then we reverse the next day. So be really, really careful at over trading this market. And yesterday was one of those little warning shots, per perhaps across the bow, that things may not be as rosy on this path as we might think. Watch that close. But certainly stay with the trends right now because the bulls are in control here spy and qqq particularly and then iwm iwm had the worst of it yesterday seeing those sellers come in and push down below its 50-day moving average but as you can see it rallied back up by the end of the day to just cling to that 50-day moving average and we still have that issue here in iwm where we continue to show failures at this level up here. We are still holding on to this trend, however, so we're building out this wedge, and that possibility that we could just wind around in here for a while longer um, is possible. Now, the question whether we'll be able to show enough energy to pop through or whether it breaks down, I can't tell you. But yesterday's little warning shot across the bow should be keeping everyone in check and just reminded uh, that complacency could be very, very dangerous in a market that is, is as stretched as we're showing here, particularly in the NASDAQ. That is an amazing stretch. So let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday had a pretty good move to the upside. Fear was coming in and then at the end of the day, we started to push uh, back up those bulls coming back in, so we pushed back down. But notice how quickly that fear can spike up, particularly when we get stretched. Just imagine had the tech decided to join in on that selling yesterday, what could have occurred there? So I'm only bringing that up to, to remind you that we have to heed these warning shots and be a little bit careful with our complacency. It's so easy in a market like this to become over complacent and over trade. And then when we get those shots, those warnings like um, we had yesterday, get heavily damaged in your account. So be really, really careful as um, this continues. But right now, I don't think we have any major fear problem here, um, but it is noteworthy and we, we need to pay attention to it, you know, if those bears decide to re-engage um, and follow through. Not saying they will, but we need to be watchful for that. So trend um, here in the VIX continues to be down. So again, just no major no major problem showing up here, but maybe some complacency starting to build into the market. Then let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And it was interesting yesterday as we pushed down, we pushed down, we got really close down into here toward that bearish reversal zone. But that rally back yesterday brought us right back up into here which means the T2122 is not really giving us any clear direction here on the market. It's telling us that we have opened an upside opportunity, pretty substantial upside opportunity, if we can find the bullishness to do that. However, if we find um, inspiration for those bears, it's also telling us that we still could see another attack to the downside. So just watch that closely. We're not getting any clear um, signals here, but certainly a little bit of concern still left that we may have additional downside if those bears find some inspiration. Then let's take a look at our T2101. Yesterday I mentioned this This is a kind of a, a strange situation here and, and it makes me very, very nervous. Um, yesterday we saw uh, T2101 pushing higher. Uh, as we were selling. As we were selling, we were pushing higher in um, that move. And then as the market rally 
um, came back, notice that our market breadth pulled back again. Now what that is again continuing to show us is there are just very select stocks that are holding the market up. And one has to wonder what happens if they decide that this, this run is over. Be really, really cautious and careful here and don't over trade. This is a very odd situation. And if I place, um, um, I'm going to do a comparison here. Um, if I do a comparison with the NASDAQ, notice this unbelievable um, divergence that we're seeing here in the NASDAQ. If I add in the SPY, um, a huge divergence occurring here with market breadth and the SPY. So um, uh, a problem that I think we have to pay attention to and something that we should respect, um, we're just not getting. Um, that market breadth that you would expect when we're setting new record highs in the market, which means it's very, very select stocks that are doing it. And many of those very select stocks are already extremely stretched in their valuations. So be very, very cognizant and careful as you navigate this market that if, if the bears get some kind of energy, um, this could roll over pretty quickly. But stay with the trend. There's no bearishness yet. Stay with the trend. Just don't over trade or become complacent. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar has a couple of things today that we want to make note of. We have the jobs opening report at 10 a.m. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And then also remember we've got the FOMC announcement. Now the FOMC or not the announcement, the uh, minutes. Um, FOMC minutes, it's not odd for the market to become a little bit choppy and stale um, after the morning rush um, as we wait for those FOMC minutes. So just keep that in mind as those crop up um, or come along, we could just see some light choppy price action up into that number so, or, or that release. So watch that closely. Um, also keep in mind that we've got jobless claims tomorrow. And so we know that that can move us around as you're planning your day forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar is extremely light and no surprise there were um, eight companies listed on the calendar today, but only four of those companies um, have verified reports. And I came up with three um, um, notables. Take a look at MSM, MSM reporting today. Trying to pop back up um, in this chart. Notice that this has got some resistance in the chart here to deal with. Um, and a possible head and shoulders top being formed here on that. So this is going to be an important earnings report. If we can push on through, maybe hold a higher level, maybe we can reverse that kind of bearish pattern starting to show up. I will tell you, it's very, very difficult to short anything in the market. I have taken some short positions. It's really difficult to short anything um, in the market. I'm holding them almost more as a hedge right now, just in case the market does roll but it's difficult to do. Let's take a look at SAR. SAR, um, beautiful upside trend. This will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that um, as we continue to move higher in that chart. And then WDFC. We all love WD40, don't we? I mean, everybody's got a can of WD40 around. Um, WD40 um, will be reporting today. Kind of an ugly little topping type pattern showing up here. This is a big expanded. If I were to take this to a weekly, you're going to see a um, kind of an ugly little head and shoulders uh, top starting to form here. So this could be um, a really important report today. So keep an eye on WDFC today. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you have seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon. 
when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And also, if you could do me a favor, if you feel the video was worthy, click that uh, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. Um, and the more and more comments, the, the more and more engagement with the video is the best thing for um, for the growth of the channel. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who does take the time to do that. It, it honestly, it means a lot to me and I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, how about we take a look at some of these stocks setting up and I want to remind everyone that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence, be very, very focused in on that price action. Make sure you're following your own rules and understand the risks of these trades. It is never a good idea to follow someone else's, blindly follow someone else's trade. So make sure you're doing your evaluation and always realize that if I'm looking at a chart, I may have some bias in that chart. And particularly if I own it, I have some bias in that chart. Let's take a look here at um, Chewy. Chewy had a nice day yesterday pushing on up. And you guys remember I was mentioning this um, in yesterday's report of that possibility. We have a very bullish chart here. And you can see that was my alert right there pushing right on through and um, really showing some strength and following through today. Chewy looking very good, um, nice chart. Keep a close eye on that, um, looking really good. Take a, a look at DKNG. Now DKNG still setting up, resting, pulling back. And as a matter of fact, I might want to slide my alert just a little bit lower to see if I can catch an earlier entry on that. But DKNG setting up, looking very good. I'd keep a close eye on that. I also mentioned Peloton um, yesterday and Peloton continues to set up and looking pretty good. Keep an eye on that. And this is sliding out here toward that trend. Watch for that next opportunity into the chart. As you guys know, I mentioned plug power yesterday that continues to potentially set up. It tried to get going a little bit yesterday and then faltered a bit, but we're holding right in there on that trend. Watch for an opportunity here on plug power. We saw some pretty good moves in solar stocks yesterday. They were trying to perk up here. Notice TAN moving on up here. Watch this resistance level in the chart, but TAN trying to move on up. Take a look at FSLR for solar, showing a nice little pattern here, holding in on price support, looking very good in that chart. So trying to trying to perk on through and perk up. So keep a close eye on that. Now, obviously the other places to look, um, but you gotta be really careful. Um, Apple continuing to race to the upside. This is virtually parabolic in its move. I, I'm guessing we're gonna come up here and test this high and, and all time highs and maybe try and break out. But this move is just almost straight up. So be really, really careful with charts like that and chasing them. Um, they can be very, very dangerous um, overall. So just be really, really careful with there, with charts like that. Take a look at rig um, as oil prices continue to move higher. And we heard um, yesterday oil prices hit a six year high. Um, we're going to see more um, attention to possibly some exploration. Now, yesterday, oil took a little bit of a hit for some reason. We pulled back even though oil was going up, or oil sector stocks took a little bit of a hit. Just a little bit of resting pullback in here. But I think as long as rig holds this support level in here, could have an opportunity for some upside moves. So keep a close eye on that. You know, one thing I want to maybe suggest to folks is to be a little bit careful if you're an option trader, it may be a wise idea to start hedging some of your trades. Um, it might also be a wise idea to just simply be taking some profits as we continue to extend and extend and extend um, some of these um, some of these stocks. Be really really careful at over trading. Um, you might want to take a look at. Um, um, oh shoot! I just lost it. I had it in my. Um, 
had it in my head and then just lost the symbol. Um, senior moment here, guys. I apologize. Um, I have been mentioning these um, stocks in like um, uh, cannabis area. They're really not doing very good here now, falling apart, breaking support levels. So I think cannabis could be one of those that we might want to watch for a possible follow through failure pattern. Watch that right in there. If that were to rally back up, you might start looking for some short trades um, in that area. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola could be setting up short. Look at this big um, head and shoulders top that could be forming here in Coke. If we lose this price support, there could be an interesting short showing up in that area. Take a look at XLF. And by the way, I have a bias here in XLF um, because I went short yesterday on XLF. XLF putting in a lower high here, showing that possible failure. And if we look at our moving averages, we're failing right at that 50 day moving average. I would expect to see that 50 day moving average starting to flatten out. Notice our shorter term averages are, have already crossed down through that 50. So watch that closely. Financials not looking all that good here. So if you are looking for some short trades, though that might be a place to begin to look. Um, be really, really um, careful about chasing a stock that's overextended. I feel like we have that, that potential that all of a sudden we could pop, we could slip the other direction with a morning gap or something like that. So if you have profits, take some profits. Find a way to hedge that trade to protect yourself for any downside move. Yesterday, I think, was a warning um, that we need to be wising up here um, and being a little bit careful as we continue to extend. So just, just be a tiny bit cautious. Stay with the trend. Stay with these bullish charts, but don't become complacent. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great success in your trading. I hope you all just make tons and tons of profits um, today. Y'all take care, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one, everyone.